Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my very first book review. Um, I am deciding to record my books and my reviews and my thoughts and rants uh, as I go along through the year of 2017. Um, I read way too many books and need to do something with the time that I have spent reading them. So, um, I decided I'm going to start with the first, the last book I've read for the month of Feb January, um, which is Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari. Um, this book was uh, initially published in Hebrew in 2011 and was translated to English um, in 2014. I've kind of seen this popping around up on bestsellers. It has a lot of really good reviews, um, Washington Post, The Express, Book List, um, lots of praise, um, lots of Book of the Year awards, lists. Um, so, just a quick summary on it. This book spans the beginning of time right until 2011. Um, the topics it covers is a lot. Um, this book covers the history of mankind right from uh, the creation of Earth to the creation of the Neanderthal to the um, creation of man, how man has branched and evolutionized and how the planet has changed. This book delves into feminism, politics, um, how currency works and evolved, um, how the changing trends of technology uh, are shaping our world. This book is broken down into three larger sections um, on the revolutions of mankind. Um, so we start with the cognitive revolution where man learns to think, to speak. We move on to the agricultural revolution, which takes us into the world of domesticating animals, um, the changing of our lives from uh, hunters and gatherers to um, more domesticated humans, um, where we start farming and building communities and working together uh, in larger groups. and. Um, then we move on to the scientific revolution, which then goes on into discussing how science has pushed us even further. Um, it does talk briefly about the industrial revolution, um, but that is listed in the scientific revolution section. And that discusses uh, how um, in a way that we've tried to be making the world better for us, have we actually been making the world worse for us? Are we better for our changes or are we worse for our changes? Um, this book actually, despite being just a history of mankind, discusses a lot of things um, about who we are, what we are, where we've come from, and where we're going. I have to say, the style I quite enjoy. I quite enjoyed. Um, the writing was done in very layman's terms, um, so that it was very easy to read. Uh, the only complaint that I had about the book was sometimes it kind of jumped around. Um, you'd be talking about um, times in the past, and then we'd suddenly be talking about modern day feminism. Uh, we'd be talking about evolution of money, um, what made money, how money came about, and next thing we're talking about capitalism, and we weren't quite into the sections that would be discussing capitalism. So in some ways I felt it jumped around a bit ahead of the timing, um, so the pacing wasn't always to my liking. But the overall experience of this book um, was qu quite interesting, I have to say. It was a book that makes you think. Um, it is a book that makes you question where we have been and where we are going. Um, it makes us question um, our beliefs. Um, it, it does divulge into religion quite a bit. 
and how religion and multiple religions came about. Um, so you do start to question the theatics and the anti-theatics and um, and when we start getting into religion and science um, it discusses those subjects too um, who we are and what is our purpose on this planet and if we keep evolving will we still be sapiens will we be evolving into something else um, there was discussions on war, why we war, um, what caused wars, why we stopped warring. Um, not to say that we have stopped entirely, but that the world existed in war previous to the scientific revolution. And um, when money and capitalism became part of our regular routine, uh, everything changed, and that war was not as required as it was in uh, previous empires. Um, it discusses the globalization of the world and how we were becoming more of one empire versus a scattering of empires all over the world. Um, overall, I would give this book a 4.5 out of 5. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. Um, it is a heavy read and um, I will say that if you are one who believes more on the creationist side of the world, um, this might not be for you. Um, it does heavily discuss the differences in religions and whatnot, but it more leans towards the sides of how man created religions and not how um, religions or um, life was created by, by one God. Um, so maybe not for somebody who uh, has a firm faith in where they've come from unless they choose to want to explore or have questions or look um, at the world from a different point of view. Um, but overall, wonderful book, a wonderful, amazing discussion um, and read and lots of citations. <laughs> amazing, amazing amounts of, of information in here. And this book isn't that big. Uh, it clocks in at uh, 443 pages for the whole history of mankind from 14 billion years ago to 2011. So uh, lots of compact information, lots of um, stuff that I did not know. And I am well more educated for having read it. So this is the my quick review on Sapiens. Um, there is a part two to this. Uh, I can't think of the name of it now. Uh, it was only just released, I believe, in the last year or two. Um, Homo Deus, I believe. Um, I will probably leave a link down in the description below, just if anyone is looking to pick up the series. Um, I'm hoping to read book two and see where it goes from there. I believe that one continues on from where this one ends and what the future of mankind is looking like. Um, so, uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and, uh, subscribe if you're new here. I'm hoping to continue this series of book reviews, um, and book related, uh, topics. And, um, that's all for now. Bye!